it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and I wanted to make this quick video for those of you that have been emailing and DMing me asking what is the minimal spacing kind of dimensions that you need to install your handy quilter loft frame which is the eight foot frame with the Moxie long arm quilting machine. So I wanted to kind of show you where I have it set up in my sewing room if you haven't already seen it. It's up against the wall. There's a couple of things to keep in mind but I know because this is a budget friendly long arm quilting machine setup with the eight foot frame, I know a lot of you are trying to see exactly how much room you need to see if you can squeeze it into a small corner of your sewing room or somewhere in your house. And so that's what I wanted to share. Now you need to keep a few things in mind. My frame is set up against this back wall here. And the reason for that is I don't ever do any work from the back of the machine. So maybe sometimes you've seen where long armors will install the same handles on the back of the machine. Obviously those are optional accessories. And then you kind of run a laser. Maybe you have some printouts rolled out back here or those groovy boards. A lot of people like to do their quilting from the back of the machine because they're following some type of guide like pantographs or the groovy boards that I mentioned. Now I didn't get those accessories for this machine because I never use them. I don't do any work from the back of the machine and so that's why this setup works for me. I've been long arming for over 13 years and I've tried it out before, but it's just not my thing. So if you're looking for the minimal space that you need, like what is the smallest chunk of floor space that you can fit this onto, keep watching the video. So before I measure, I like to one swing the machine on the frame all the way from the left to all the way to the right Make sure it's not getting caught on anything. That tells me that if I'm quilting, nothing is gonna get in my way from left to right. So we also wanna go ahead and check that from front to back, right? Because the machine has plugs back here. So it's not just the frame body of the machine that you wanna be measuring from, but also how far it goes when you push it as you're quilting from front to back. So again, I'm pushing it all the way as far back on the track that it can go, and I make sure, I'll point with this back here, that I have a little bit of room there so that nothing is hitting the wall. That will throw your quilting off. If you're quilting and you go back and it goes boom, and maybe like the back of the cord plug hits the wall, the whole machine is gonna bobble. So make sure that you have that clearance in the back. And then of course on the front, but as you can see, as far front as the machine goes, it doesn't reach these poles. So we wanna be taking the measurement from the furthest pole, like closest to my body, and then of course, account for your body standing in front of it. If you have like a small corner in your, in your apartment or your house that you wanna fit this in, you gotta account for your body. Don't back yourself up and slide this into like between two walls or a hallway you won't be able to use it comfortably, okay? So we're gonna measure from the back of the wall. Let me scoot it out the way a little bit. From the back of the wall to the furthest front point here, and at 48 inches, I'm still about two inches in front of this frontmost bar on this setup. So I would say 48 inches if, again, you don't plan to do any pantographs or any work from the back of the machine, okay? So 48 inches, that's four feet this way. And one thing to note is that these uh, poles stick out further than the actual legs of the machine. So make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're measuring the space here. Uh, the, the legs on the machine are shorter. So if you measure, if you go by the 48 inches that I just told you, you should, sh should have the room that you need going forward. Then from side to side, I'm gonna go ahead and measure. Now, this loft frame is set up at eight feet, but you do need a little bit more because the poles stick out. Do you see this little bit? Okay, from in here over is the eight in is the eight feet, but you wanna account for everything here. So I'm gonna grip my measuring tape on the side. I'm gonna look over. The poles stick out on my frame about an inch. So just add an extra inch to the measurement that we're gonna calculate here. I'm gonna walk it all the way over. And the same thing accounting for the poles on this side that stick out. I'm gonna say 101, maybe 102 inches. So that will be eight feet and one, two, three, four, five, or six inches. So eight feet, five inches, eight feet, six inches will give you what you need from side to side. You don't need that much room here if you're just gonna be quilting and using the frame as is. All you wanna do is obviously have some room here to like reach over, loosen up the clamps. Let me get this little trash bin out the way so that you can clamp 
you know, if you're gonna be using the clamps, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but you'll use this to clamp and then you wanna be able to reach in on the side of the frame here so that you can loosen up the drawstring and tighten it up. So, I mean, a couple inches of that, that's plenty. So, in my opinion, based on how I have my machine and frame set up here, I would say the smallest space that you can fit this into would be four feet away from your wall if you're bumping it like I have here, and then eight foot, let's say six inches from side to side, again, be mindful that you have room here for your body beyond the four feet, okay? So that's another thing. But also be very mindful that this is just once the frame is set up. You will need a lot more space to build your frame and put it together, as you can see in the clip here where I'm putting together the frame for the first time. I did have to move some things out of the way, like my main cutting table in my sewing room, so that I could build the frame right here, and then just slide it up and put it up against the wall into its final position, right? So think about that. If you have a larger space, maybe in a different room, you may want to consider set, uh, setting up all the boxes and building it somewhere else and then getting someone to help you either slide it in or carry it into this room. And if you're going to do that, make sure that you measure the doorways to make sure that you'll be able to get the frame in. Obviously, I would not recommend putting the machine on it and then moving it. You can just set up the frame, put it into the final position, and then continue to build the parts that you need to of the machine to get it set up. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got to see a little bit more about what the dimensions are to fit your handy quilter loft frame and moxie into place. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you're interested in this type of long arm setup, I've included a link for you in the description box below this YouTube video where you can click, get more information, and even purchase your own setup. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.